I grew up here in a small town, just a lot of fun. I love cars, I love swimming. If I can work on a car any day, if I can race, even better. I love racing, probably one of my biggest passions. When I first started in high school, the church was just kind of there. I started hanging out with friends that just kind of drew me out of it. I wasn't listening to what anyone was telling me. I turned to drugs, partying. I, I wish I, I was the way before, when I was happy and younger, kind of had that light in my eyes. And I just decided I need, I need to make it better. I started to turn things around. I turned away from the drugs and the partying, and I started out small, just going to the gym, nothing too big. Um, I went to church with my parents, but this time I started paying attention more. I, I wasn't just ignoring it. Um, I wouldn't be on my phone the whole time. Then after that, um, I started going to institute classes, and helping others, not just trying to better myself. And then eventually it came to the point where people were asking about my mission. And back when I wasn't too happy, it was always no. But then one day as I'm coming around, I, I start reading my scriptures a little bit every day. Brother Clough asks me, and he'd pretty much done it every Sunday. And I said, yes, this time. And I'm, I'm excited about it. After church, he's like, here's your mission papers. It was, I was so happy. And it was actually Mother's Day. So I, I go and tell my mom, and I, and I have my mission papers in my hand. And she said it's the best Mother's Day gift I ever could have given her. I was pretty happy about that. I've been talking to the bishop every week about it. I'm preparing to go to the temple. And I'm also preparing to get my patriarchal blessing. I think this is the strongest I've been ever because in my past, I, I was just kind of like, yeah, I believe in God. It was nothing special to me. Now I can say it and I know it.